there is really three things that I found that really made a difference in my practice. The revenue producing activity that we talk about to our agents all the time, do revenue producing activity, is what we should focus on, right? We should focus our innovation on the things that we actually do to make money, right? All the other stuff in our world doesn't necessarily do that. So the first thing we all do is we have to organize a household. We all do some level of fact finding and we need to organize that mentally in order to make distinctions, right? Can't advise you on what to do. I can't give you a diagnosis, right? I can't give you a prescription without diagnosis. We've heard that before. What would that be called? That's malpractice, well said. I appreciate that. That's Scott, thank you, Scott. I'm glad that you sat in the front row. I've got other questions coming too. Well read. Um, so clearly we all have to do this, right? Is that, can you agree with that? We all have to do some fact finding. We have to organize what's going on before we can give them advice. Number two, we need to tell them what their situation is, right? Are we on track for major goals? Do we have enough insurance? Is there a capital exposure if we have a long-term care event? If we have a critical illness, do we have enough money to fund this? We have to be able to quantify this. Financial planning is not necessarily the answer to this. It's what, what people perceive as the evolution. And then third, we need to manage our practice, right? Because most of us don't manage our practice. We just manage our calendar and whatever's in the calendar we do and whatever is on our practice, we can push to later because it's not critical. Except the reality, it's the only way that we actually make more revenue, make more money and ultimately have retention in this business.